Some of the challenges that he faces in that community, like you're saying, you know, it's not that idea of fighting aliens. Can you just speak about some of the things that he's looking at making right and then some of the challenges he has? Well, yeah, I mean, well, it starts with the fact that, you know, uh, he promised his uh, ex-wife years ago that he would stop. You know, it was kind of like, you're coming home bloodied one too many times and it's time to, to stop this. And so he's gone the pure educational route and, and has protected you know, his students and his children in this kind of school bubble. Well, real life is, is, is creeping into that school bubble. Um, you know, crime, um, police corruption, political corruption, drugs, um, you know, police brutality. These are all, I mean, in the first episode, he gets pulled over and it's like, it's been the third time this month that I've been pulled over as he's trying to talk to his daughter about being peaceful, about nonviolence. Um, so, it's kind of all of that while he's also raising uh, a 16 year old and, and kind of keeping alive a 20, a very rambunctious 20 something. Um, and then you will later discover they have powers. And so it's, it's, um, it's interesting because we also just explore that, yeah, there's a great side to having powers, but there's mm -hmm. also a negative side as well, which I think we're gonna get even more into in season two. Right. Um, and you know, because you know historically, when you look at the whole mythology of superheroes, they typically have no ties. Usually, you know, Superman, you know, he had like Lois Lane, but she didn't know he was Superman, and you know, Batman virtually had no ties. And so here's a superhero whose alter ego has children he's got to answer to and a wife he has to answer to, and um, so that's always the struggle of like, I, I, I want to just fight crime, I want to go and make a change, but I, I still have to be principal, I still have kids to answer to and all that. So. Right, and some of the struggles you just face as a parent, period, it's like. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, w I, w I need to be a superhero to do all this. Oh my God, yeah, I mean, I mean the episode where our, our youngest daughter announced uh, to us that she's going to have sex and is ready to have sex, yeah. that was uh, a fun, uh, crazy episode to deal with and I have a 13 year old and it's just like whoa uh, you know going this is not how it would go down in my house but <laughs> you know it had to be safe for television um, but you know that has nothing to do with superpowers at all it's just life and and so that's right. really awesome to do we get to have fun and, and kick butt and show special effects but then we have moments that are really you, you could they could be uh, in anything without powers at all